production of this perfume is absolutely crazy is is beast mode is very strong um so when you're putting it on i highly recommend just shh, shh, one two it's okay it's okay sweet apple perfume that is mixed with other things like a spice there's spice in there am i getting cinnamon is there cinnamon in this perfume maybe i don't have mixed feelings about the perfume maybe i just like it hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here what is up my name is dia thank you so much for clicking to watch this video um so if it sounds like i'm whispering it's because it is um it is currently 1 a.m and i decided that this is the best time to record a video because i'm just sure that ever since i started my youtube channel i've never recorded a video at night so this is actually the second time i'm recording this video the first time wasn't bad i just didn't like how the video turned out i didn't like how the the video looked i didn't like how the clips looked so i'm recording it again um and it better be good because it's 1 a.m and i'm probably disturbing people around me let me shut up let me shut up shut up that being said though in today's video we're going to be talking about arabian perfumes arabian fragrances middle eastern perfumes now if you didn't know Arabian perfumes took TikTok by a storm, like a lot of them went viral and I am not ashamed that I am one of the people who fell under the influences of TikTok to get some of their perfumes. Yeah, so we're basically going to be talking about the ones that I have in my collection and they are right here. We're going to be talking about Nebras by Latafa. I've actually spoken about this already. Um, Choco Mask by Al Rehab. Al Rehab, I don't know how that's mentioned, and Oud Mood by Latafa, mm -hmm. and also Camera by Latafa. So I have about three perfumes from Latafa and just one from Al Rehab. It, is, it wasn't intentional, I just happened to have them because those were the most popular ones. Yeah, so you know, if you want to hear my thoughts on these perfumes that I just showed you, then definitely stick around and keep on watching. <laughs> All right, so the first perfume I'm going to talk about is Choco Mask by Al Rehab. Now, I actually already had a bottle of this before I realized it went viral on TikTok. And this is my third bottle. I've used up two bottles already. But I don't think that I'll be getting another one if this one should finish. In this video, what I'll be doing is I will show you guys somewhere on the screen um, the notes of the perfume. But then I would explain to you guys in my own words, in my own experience, to the best of my abilities what the perfume smells like i just feel like it's going to be easier that way you get it choco musk is a gourmand perfume you get a, a mixture of sweet vanilla chocolate and milky scent notes it, it comes together to form this sweet chocolate drink it it's so gourmand it's, it smells like food it's like a bakery it smells it's sweet is sweet i personally really like it. whenever i put this on i get compliments a lot there's this one time i was in uh, an elevator and, and i had this perfume on and then, then there was this woman i don't it's like i'm having a hard time talking slow down there we go yeah so i was in an elevator one time in the morning i was going to the office and i had this perfume on and there was this lady in there and she was like i smell like food like i smell nice like i smell good <laughs> and i was like thank you <laughs> yeah i said thank you i do have to warn you though when you first spray this perfume what's gonna hit you is alcohol alcohol will hit you but when you let that sit when you let that lie for some time you're gonna get the mixture that i described to you guys earlier on so a sweet milky vanilla chocolatey scent the sillage of this perfume it's not that great i would say average it's, it's average yeah but it's there don't let it fool you it's there it's not that powerful but it's there longevity um this would last on you about one to two hours of strong projection but after that it becomes faint but then it doesn't completely disappear it will still be on you especially on your clothes but not as strong as when you first sprayed it yeah but it will still be there i personally really like this perfume but there are some people um who have said that they don't like this perfume because it has an artificial scent to it i don't get what they mean by artificial scent um but 
you know just putting it out there in case it's something you're worried about the next perfume i'm going to be talking about is nebras by latafa now i've actually spoken about this in a previous video but i was like well since i'm talking about middle eastern fragrances why don't i just talk about it again and so yes I i'm going i'm going to talk about it again mm -hmm. Have I spoken about the bottle? I don't think I have, but yeah, the bottle is obviously beautiful. Latafa's um, packaging for their perfumes is always A1. Let's keep it a buck. Okay, moving on though. Never as by Latafa, unlike Choco Mask, this is a mature groomer scent. Now you get a combination of um, groomer scent notes like cacao, vanilla, sugar, but then you also have like a fruity profile. You know, you have berries, and I don't remember what other fruity um scents you get in here, but I know it's it's on the fruity side as well, and some bit of a floral scent as well. To me. In this perfume the strongest scent note you actually get is the cacao and the berries so it's, it smells very chocolatey as opposed to being a, a completely gourmand scent where it's just like chocolate vanilla sugar blah 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 this this is a mixture of chocolate and fruitiness does that make sense and the even though there's vanilla in here there's not much of it so it's not that sweet and it also has like a a spiciness to it there's a spiciness to the perfume and i pick up on a particular scent that is not labeled in the scent notes or anywhere online there's this fresh minty ness to the perfume it's like um it's an underlying set you get after the dry down of the, the <laughs> after the dry down of the perfume i don't see a lot of people talk about it in their review of the perfume so i don't i honestly don't know i would say this though i don't consider this a blind buy um because i remember being very underwhelmed when i got it because a lot of people have been talking about nebras by latafa and people compare this to um, Billie Eilish's perfume um, because apparently they have like a similar scent profile and that one is like gourmand and it's actually sweet, vanilla and blah, blah, blah. But this, even though there's vanilla in it, is not that sweet. It's not as sweet as um, Choco Max by Areha. So if you're looking for a really sweet gourmand scent, this, this is probably not for you. I think because of the floral and the fruity and the, the spicy side of it, it makes it more mature. Yeah, so if you're someone who is not looking for something that is too sweet, this is a good fit for you. If not, you you might not be a completely big fan. I Listen, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. So... Even though this was a, it's a nice perfume, I wouldn't lie, it's, it's a nice perfume, it's good. But I don't think I'm ever going to buy this again. Now it's, it, even though it's finished, like it's, it's actually finished, I don't think I'll get another one. The sillage of this perfume is average. Um, I, I wouldn't consider this beast mode. Unless someone gets close to you from a certain distance, they might be able to smell you. But it's not the kind of perfume that people will be able to smell you from across the room. I, if anyone has claimed that this is this is what the perfume does, I listen, I feel like they're lying. Well, let me not say they're lying. Maybe that is, that is in their experience, but it's not completely true. This one does not work like that. What I would talk about, however, is the longevity. This, I believe, would last you a... I don't want to say... Let me not let me not exaggerate, but I, I, I would say this should last you eight hours plus. Because... Let me explain. <laughs> because I sprayed this on one of my coats. I put it in my wardrobe. Um, another time, I was going to school and I put it on. I did not respray... <laughs> I do not really spray this perfume, but I could smell this around me. So this actually has crazy longevity on clothes. On the skin, I also give it about maybe 3-4 hours of strong projection. But after a while, it, it fades away. It doesn't completely fade away. It, it, it will still be there, but it wouldn't be as strong as when you first sprayed it on. The next perfume I'm going to be talking about is Oud Mood by La Tafa. And I'm just going to say this right now. This is the strongest perfume I have ever used. And that is saying something because I have used quite a number of perfumes. Okay? Quite a number of them. And this being the strongest. The packaging for this is cute. Like, it's nice. But my um, tread 
the design of the thing has kind of does come off but it's fine so this is what the perfume looks like on the inside yeah and you guys this is very strong so this perfume yeah this is a sweet spicy gourmand scent me personally i get strong hints or strong notes of caramel and oud listen caramel and oud the oud in this perfume is there is there I've, I've seen a few reviews on tiktok where people were like oh this is baby oud and if you don't like oud perfumes you might like this one because it's sweet and blah 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 i disagree i disagree i i feel like this is straight up oud i mean the oud is in the name oud mood this is straight up oud if you're someone who cannot tolerate oud scents you do not like oud scents this is this is not for you i i would highly recommend that you um test this out first before you get a full bottle because it's it's oud it's not baby oud it is oud projection of this perfume is absolutely crazy it's is beast mode it's very strong um so when you're putting it on i highly recommend just one two it's okay it's okay it will last you I, listen this is strong this is very strong and if you overspray it you might disturb people around you especially if you wear this to if you wear this to work i do not recommend that you wear this to work um um but it's it's very strong i'm usually not the type to talk about um when is the best time to wear a perfume because i just i wear my perfumes whenever i want to but this is definitely one of those perfumes that i highly recommend wearing only when um it's like really cold outside um or like during the winter during hamatan that's rain uh-huh that way the, the scent will not be too strong other than that if you wear this in the heat ha ah, is is going to be too much it's going to be too much because it's, it's really strong i keep listen i keep emphasizing on the fact that this perfume is strong because i just want you to know that it's very strong last perfume that i'm going to be talking about is camera by latafa now listen y'all the packaging for this just like um i think it was nebras it's it's quite beautiful look at this look at this it has a mirror <laughs> this is what it looks like and then you have the top <laughs> and behave this perfume yeah i have mixed feelings so this is a sweet fragrance some people consider this a gourmand scent i don't know why wait i think it's because of the okay i think i know why <laughs> okay i don't know why i am fooling this nice like that but i really need to take it down a notch i need to quickly hurry up so i can get out from here it's late camera is actually considered by a lot of people as a gourmand scent this is a sweet fragrance but i don't know to me <clears throat> sorry about that to me i don't know if i'm getting gourmand from this perfume it smells more of like um a sweet fruity scent yeah i will be sure to put the scent notes on the screen so you guys can see mm. Mm. it's sweet it's like um a sweet apple perfume a sweet apple perfume that is mixed with other things like a spice there's spice in there am i getting cinnamon is that cinnamon in this perfume maybe i don't have mixed feelings about the perfume maybe i just like it to my nose this is a sweet fragrance that pulls more fruity than it is gourmand um like a a sweet apple i don't know whether apple is in the scent notes um of the perfume but i definitely it smells like a caramelized apple like a sweet apple perfume it's sweet now the reason why this perfume gives me mixed feelings is this so i've noticed that when i spray it on my clothes well not all of my clothes when i spray it on certain materials certain fabrics of certain clothes after the dry down after some time i get this metallic scent in the dry down like this irony scent and i don't like it i don't like it especially when sun hits it for some time and i don't know where it's coming from it doesn't happen when i spray it on my skin on my skin i get the original um uh scent of the perfume in the bottle but when i spray it on certain fabric certain clothes especially if it's like a a satin type of fabric 
after it dries down that metallic scent that that that's it's like it smells irony so metallic i i I really don't like that scent so i think what i'm going to do is i would only spray this perfume on my skin i would spray it on maybe cotton types of clothes because i feel like it would absorb the perfume unlike the satin i don't know if that would make a difference but i would keep um experimenting to see which material it reacts with to give me that metallic scent and i will keep you guys updated hopefully i do that but yeah so i do like the perfume it's a sweet fruity scent to me people say it's gourmand but to me it's pulling sweet fruity caramelized apple juicy juicy apple by the way scent to me okay the longevity of this perfume is mad it's crazy so when i was writing my um script for this this particular video i placed the perfume on my book and at some point i placed it on the table over there after three weeks i could still smell this perfume on the table on the table oh. ah, and even on the in the book sometimes when i'm flipping through i still get the scent of the perfume on the book and that's like okay i think now it's kind of gone but even after three weeks the scent was still there so camera definitely lasts longer on clothes i i have sprayed this on clothes and even to the point of laundry you can still get a whiff of that scent it is it's very strong it's, it lasts it lasts to me though oud mood lasts uh, it lasts longer than um camera oud mood in fact we spoken about it, but let me talk about it again oud mood is a kind of perfume that when somebody knows this is the perfume that you wear and let's say you were in a room but you just left the room and the person steps into the room they would know that at some point you were in that room or you just stepped out this is the kind of perfume that if you're wearing it someone might be able to smell you from across the room it's strong i think this one too does the same thing but this is stronger in my opinion look it's so strong that i think that low-key i'm afraid of it i'm afraid of it that's why i'm saying that if you're going to spray do shh, shh. it's okay it will last i'm gonna stop talking now because i've spoken plenty <laughs> The thing about uh, Middle Eastern fragrances is that I feel like people don't stress this enough, but usually their perfumes are mixed with other things, you know, the spice, the oud, the florals. And if you're not a, a, a huge fan of some of those scents, like scent notes, you might not like the perfume. So amongst these perfumes, the only one that I would say is a safe blind buy is the Choco Max by Choco Musk. <laughs> Choco Musk by Al Rehab, but even that, some people have claimed that you don't like it because it smells artificial. But the rest of them, Camera, Oud Mood, Nebras, I highly suggest that you test them out, test them out before you commit to a full bottle because they are not, in my opinion, safe blind buys. And that is it for today's video i hope this review was helpful um let me know in the comment section if you guys have any of these in your collection and how you like them um or if you have any plans of getting any of the perfumes that i spoke about in today's video um i'm really hoping that i like this one because like i said this is the second time i'm filming the video hopefully the the um angle is not off you know hopefully i like it so i can post it because you know i I really like my makeup today. <laughs> Bye, and I hope to see you guys in my next one.